What's up, good people? This your boy ZTV1990 reporting to you for another video, and then I wanna uh, I wanna talk about this uh, Shy Gilders Alexander. It uh, I wanna talk about SGA and uh, Josh Giddy here, cause this is very, very, very important. I need people to really understand what I'm getting ready to say, cause this has been all over the news. I heard, I know I'm pretty sure everybody's aware of what's going on, but the Oklahoma City is going through an investigation by the NBA and uh, the NBA's investigators, which is some of the, uh, the FBI they have assigned to this case. Uh, Josh could be potentially um, in a case right now because it's been allegedly that this man has been involved with a 15-year-old minor, a woman that's uh, supposedly a junior in high school. She's in between 15 and 16 now, but this man has been, had a relationship with a minor. And this has been supposedly going on since last year, according to Andrew Bogut. Yo, Andrew Bogut, uh, the former Golden State Warrior and Milwaukee Bucks basketball player, has came out even today in an interview, and he said that uh, the OKC Thunder were aware of Josh Giddey's relationship with a 15-year-old minor, whose name I'm not going to mention right now out of protection for her. Because, see, I'm not like everybody else on YouTube. I'm not like um, Malika Andrews or Stephen A. Smith. I'm not one of them. I'm going to protect the girl's um, identity. Now, I understand that Malika Andrew and Steven Smith, I'm going to get to them a little later on in the video, but I'm not like these other uh, media outlets. I protect the so-called victims, just out of respect. I'm not going to mention her name, but she has been identified. It's out there already. It's The fact that people are shaming that that that, um, that young girl is, 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 a, is sad by the fact. It's, it's cold-blooded. They trying to make her out to be like somebody to just supposedly target Josh. When Josh, to me, in my uh, opinion, he knew about it already, right? You're a grown man. You're 21 years old. He should know better than this. To even let himself get caught up in this situation. Okay, now he's being investigated. Now, the main reason why he's getting investigated is because people talk. Players in the league talk, man. They all hang out. After the game is over, they talk. And this man in his social media has been posting this woman. Now, this girl, the same 15-year-old, supposedly has went on social media with a post saying she she screwed him. She has made recent posts on Snapchat and on Instagram, on Twitter, too, about the relationship. Whether she's out to get this, this man or not, you know, all that remains to be seen because of the, uh, to the investigation. But there are players around the league that talk. And supposedly, uh, one of the players, uh, had hit the same girl up and found out she shit. The girl told him she was seventeen. So when she was seventeen, the, the, the basketball player, well, again, I'm not going to mention his name, just out of respect. But allegedly, uh, he deleted those uh those comments on her DM. So it was brought to everybody's attention through certain sources. That Josh has been going with the same minor for like the last like two years. It's just Oklahoma City supposedly knew about it um uh, last year. But he was going with this girl since he was when he was 19 years old, would make her 15. Or it could have been the other way around. That's just that's just one story. Another story I'm hearing that she snuck into a nightclub out here in Sacramento. And he was dancing with her, right? Talking with her. But there's a video of this man. Saying that he taking her back to his. Basically back to either the hotel room or his crib or whatever place he went. So the man had sex with this girl. Because there are also pictures. There's a picture with him with his shirt off standing behind her. She appears to be in her undies. Okay. My thing is. And this is what I'm trying to get everybody to see. That's, and it's on all my social media platforms. Is that white privilege exists. Josh Giddy is the results of white privilege. Because there's a lot of YouTubers have reported that the media ain't covering it like they would Eamon Yudoka, Kyrie Irving, Michael Irving, right? Kevin Porter Jr., and even Miles Bridges. When those men that I've just mentioned, black men, got in trouble with what they, what they, were, uh, they were doing, which involved women. Oh, the ESPN, Fox Sports, everybody was on it immediately, covering it. 
you see Malika Andrews calling on uh, Emir Doka a predator. Well, I'm all for women's rights, right? We gotta protect these women. Right, she was she was all on. I mean, I mean, going hard on Emin Odoka, and him too was suspended. Couldn't even return back to the garden in Boston. Couldn't go back to the facility. Suspended, and then he lost his job. When it was consensual, they both agreed to have an affair. He cheated on Nia Long, and the woman uh, that he was doing it with cheated on her husband. They happened to work in the uh, facility. But again, out of protection, respect me. I'm not going to mention his name. I know who it is, but I'm not going to mention his name. But yeah, that happened. And speaking of Andrew Bogut, Andrew Bogut in the same interview today also said that he believed Josh Giddy didn't know. He believed he's innocent. Now, he did say that if he was trying to target a 15-year-old, he don't agree with it. But Andrew Bogut was trying to make it seem like Josh is just innocent. He didn't know. The girl lied, and he should be let free. He did say that. He said that Josh Giddy could beat this because he didn't know. Which is to me, man, it's it's bull crap because again, it's you you gotta ask these questions. If you're Josh Giddy, you gotta ask her what school she's what school she attends, how old she actually is. If you took this woman, this young woman home to your crib or your hotel room, you have to be known. You have to be looked at on social media. So again, man, this this man supposedly talked to her brother. This girl's own brother hit him up. Again, the video is out there if you find it. It's all, it's all out there. But what I'm still trying to figure out, we seen what happened to Wanda Franco. Now, I meant to have sent the video about him. I think I might have deleted it by accident. I think I might have. I might have talked about it on my TikTok, but I, I covered Wanda Franco. Now, I think if you, if you look through my TikTok, you might can find it, but I covered Wanda Franco too. Now, Wanda Franco, for those who don't watch baseball, now, the people that's on this video, that's going to be watching this video, that's on my channel, that watch Major League Baseball, they know what's up already. But for those of you who don't know, Wanda Franco was a shortstop for the Tampa Bay Rays. He was a superstar baseball player. He was the best, one of the best ones on the team. That man was getting paid just as much money as um Josh is. Because Josh is a superstar for the OKC Thunder, along with Shy here. Right? But Wanda Franco was allegedly reported that he was going with Basically, the, the same type of relationship. He was also being sexually involved with a 14-year-old minor. Okay? From overseas, matter of fact, another country report on it, and then word got back to America. So this man got in trouble for doing some dirt overseas. But what does the uh, Major League Baseball and the Rays do? Suspend him indefinitely. As of, uh, as of today, during the recording of this video, up until now, Wanda Franco is suspended by Major League Baseball. He is not allowed to come back. The Rays don't even have him on the roster no more. He ain't been, he's, he's gone. He's at home. He ain't came back since. And the Rays have um, went to the playoffs without him. Now, I believe the um, baseball season is probably over by now, unless it's the World Series going on, but he's, he's not playing with them. He's been sat down. He ain't been allowed to come back. And get involved with no activities. He can't travel with the team. Nothing. Pending an investigation, which is still going on now. He's still being investigated. And he might have to go to court. He might have to go to might have to do some jail time. Who knows? But Major League Baseball has let everybody know that they ain't tolerating this. They don't want to be involved with that. Now, 24 hours after that, it was reported he was gone. And, and see, the, the crazy part about it is everybody in ESPN was covering, including Stephen A. Smith. Everybody got on Warner Franco immediately. His business was all out there. Talk about his family and everything. The girl, even the, even the girl he was he was um seeing, again everybody started talking about her too. All her business was out there too, man. It, it's sad. I'm not gonna mention her name neither, right? I'm not gonna do that. Y'all can look this up for yourself. But yeah, Wanda Franco was talked about. I mean, is all over the radio everywhere. They waste no time on Wanda Franco. And all the Rays did said we he's we sending him on per investigation. That's, that's what the Rays did. The Rays say that we, we don't want to be involved in this. And the Rays are smart because this tarnishes their legacy to be, even be having them on the team still playing. Because the, the, the Rays are trying to protect themselves and their image. They don't want to be involved with a pedophile. Now, Warner Frago's a little bit older than Josh. Warner Frago's in between, I'll say, 23 to like 26. 
He around Shy's age here. But that's a 14-year-old girl he was messing with, man, messing around with. Tampa say, no, we, we, we don't want to have you around because they know there's kids in the arena that come to these games. Major League Baseball as a whole, as an organization, got to protect themselves. So I'm still trying to figure out, to my listeners, my viewers, please make this make sense. Why is Josh allowed to still play right now? Because last time I checked, this man was fooling around with a minor inside of a club. That's breaking the law. Now in California, the legal age of consent is 18 years old. Should no 16, let alone 15 year old girl that's a junior in high school be in, should be inside the club at all. Cause now the bouncers, anybody that's carding IDs, they've been trained to figure out if you're a minor or not. They'll know if you're a minor. Like my only guess, if I was an investigator or detective in this case, is that Josh got in with his own crew. This girl that he's been dating allegedly was a part of his own VIP section. Because since he's a, a superstar basketball player, they own they, they each have their own VIP section. I know this for a fact. Like true story, y'all. I used to work at uh I did um promotion model for Interscope Records. There's an artist named EJ that was out of town on tour. Was making his way back to California. This was during December of 2011. This is the season. Um, uh, this is when Derrick Rose was going into the season as the returning reigning MVP of the Chicago Bulls. And I saw Derrick. This was the um, uh, I think this was the night they played the um. Uh, they had a home game. They had a away game against the Clippers because the Lakers was out of town. Yeah, they was they was they was getting ready to play the Clippers. They was, they had just got done finished the Clippers. The Nuggets was heading in town to play the Lakers. Yeah, Lakers was coming in for the next night. This was a um. I believe this was a Saturday. This was a Friday night. And this is when I had my old uh, manager, Richard Gatewood, when he was managing me. This was during my modeling career, my early days. This is when I was like 22 years old. I saw Derrick Rose, Taj Gibson. Yeah, Derrick Rose, Taj Gibson. I believe Joel Kim Noah was there. And I saw um, Ty Lawson. When he was a different nugget playing with Carmelo Anthony. They was all in one section. And I, I chat with Taj, man. Taj was a cool guy, man. Derrick Rose was the quiet one, everybody. But yeah, every uh basketball player each have their own uh, VIP section that they be sitting in. So this girl was always chilling with him and dancing with him. There's a YouTuber who even took a picture of them dancing with each other, right? So he's been he's been involved with this girl multiple times. Okay. Just like John Morant brought a gun to the club, and when John Morant brought that gun to the club, he got suspended for three days. With his investigation. And he got fined. It wasn't until the second time they see John Morant with a gun in his car. Anybody decided to spin him for 40 games. And now he has to take counseling. But yeah. With John Morant. When it was found out he had a gun. The Memphis Grizzlies didn't waste no time. They suspended him for three days. For three games he couldn't travel with the team. When they were on the road. For three games he was suspended and sent home. So the fact that. Sam Presti. Right, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I think that's that, that's the GM of the. Uh, let me let me look this up just to make sure. Because I don't want to I don't want to get these things mixed up. Oh yeah, Clay Bennett. Yeah, G, that's right. Clay Bennett is the owner, and uh, the GM is Sam Presti. Let me let me just verify that. Because I don't want to get these names mixed up. Yeah, Sam Presti. So the fact that Bennett and Presti are not sending this man home. Because I'll was i be honest, man. If I was the coach, I was Coach Mike D. I would send Josh Giddy home just to take care of this. Because I don't want him on my roster right now. Because I, 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 I'm getting somewhere with this. Bogus said that they knew about this already. So my, my thing is, why did they get on top of this? Why is that girl come out there saying she F Josh Giddy and all this other stuff? Why is this getting to the media now? Why is there an investigation now if you knew about it last year? I believe they should have they should have informed Adam Silver or somebody of this issue or why they make Josh Giddy make this go away. That's why I'm trying to figure this out. And I don't want to hear that he's being sabotaged. I don't want to hear no conspiracy stuff that this was a uh, ritual. I don't want to hear none of that. Because the pedophile comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. In ages. Okay? 
Well, I'm trying to figure it out. Shouldn't he? He technically broke the law. Now the girl broke the law too. She should be in trouble for for sneaking into a, a 21 and older club. But again, you're 21 going with a minor that's still in high school. Okay, y'all, come on now. I, I'm trying to figure this out. He technically violated code of conduct. Minors are not allowed to be nowhere around a vicinity where there's alcohol around, let alone around an NBA his player his age. That's not involved with the basketball in like in the stadium. Right? And you're not related or nothing like that. So my thing is, man, he violated code of conduct. Yeah, John Morant brought a gun to the club, but he brought a minor into the um to a club too. So he they both broke the law. Josh should be sitting home right now for at least three or four games until he clears this up. Now, let me get to why I got Shy Gilders Alexander in the picture. SGA. Now, if this was SGA getting caught with the same um the same girl who happens to be Caucasian. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of Caucasian white girls who love black men who look like Shy. Look, Shy got a baby face, right? He young. There's plenty of girls out there in OKC, at Oklahoma, right? White girls that are lusting for SGA to get a, to sleep with them. I'm gonna I'm keep this. I'm gonna keep this clean. I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm trying not to. I'm gonna try not to make this R-rated, right? But y'all get the picture. Let's say if this was SGA going with the same 15 year old, and like everybody said, he was lied to by the same girl, which. Again, man, the media wouldn't believe that, but yeah. Let's just say that he was going through the same thing that Josh was going through. Let's say Rose was reversed, and this was this young man right here on the right that's in trouble, okay? Do y'all think, and let's be honest, do you even think that Bennett and Pressy would be trying to protect Shy? right? And um, this is just my opinion. If this was SGA here, this would have been reported immediately. Stephen A. Smith... And Malika Andrews would have had this on first take, talking about it first thing Monday morning. Along with Kendra Perkins and Molly Kiram. This would have been all over the place. Not only that, but the state of Oklahoma would be calling for this man to get canceled. They'd be ready to get this man traded. They'd be ready to have Shy Gilders Alexander here released for the NBA. They'd be calling him a pedophile and everything else. And there would be nobody like Andrew Bogan or nobody coming in his aid. Trying to say he's, they feel he's innocent. Nobody would be defending this man. Come on now, SGA being a black man like that, going with a young white girl? Oh, hell no. Hell to the hell no. He, you be done. You'll see Malik Andrews talking about this man, trying to get any dirt she can about this man's past. Talking about women's rights, that he should be suspended. You have Stephen A. Smith saying this man, young man should go to jail. They'll treat him like they do in R. Kelly. And R. Kelly deserved what he got coming to him. Now, on my YouTube channel, for those who subscribe, you know how I feel about R. Kelly. The video's on here already. I'll cover that already, man. It's, that's ridiculous within itself. But like Brother Polite did, because Brother Polite allegedly tried to take a, the sport to you, a girl he got in trouble with, to a nightclub in Miami that was an after-party spot being hosted in there. So Josh Giddy could get to be with a 50-year-old in a club, right? He's not, he's not getting the same backflash as this man is getting on the right. If Shy Gilders Alexander would have done the same thing, again, I don't believe the owner, let alone the GM or the coach, would be playing SGA. SGA would be suspended for sure. Okay? And if you look at the OKC Thunder's roster, there's at least 11 black players on that team as of currently. I think only uh, Josh Giddy. Shep Holmgren and two other players. And these happen to be international big men, right? I think Pulaszowski, him, and then the other guy. Those are like the only uh, white players on the team. But the rest, the majority of the team is all black. And not just SGA. Either one of these other black players, right? Like Dort, for example, him. Yeah, Louis Dort. I think that's his name, Dort, right? Number five, him and these other players, right? Number 55, any one of these other black players would have done the same thing this man did, right? Going with a minor. I found out that he's going with a minor. They'll all be getting uh, crucified by the media. It'd be like a witch hunt. Even uh, Skip Bayless, right? Shannon Sharp, all of them be coming down to them heavy. 
Matter of fact, let this been Carmelo Anthony when he was an OKC Thunder. What, 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 let, what if it would have been found out that Carmelo Anthony is cheating on Lala with an underage girl, one of them, them, uh, them fast hood rats? The women, them, 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 um, them, them, um, them girls in the hood that want to be strippers, right? Because they, they're influenced by it. Let them get caught with one of them, uh, them 15, 16 year olds out there. And that man is in his 30s. What you think would have happened to him? Better yet, what about James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Kevin Durant? Any one of them, including Serge Ibaka, Cephalosha, any one of the old OKC players for when uh, Billy Donovan and uh, Scott Brooks was coaching. Any one of them black players would have got caught with a minor. That's still in high school, in their in 20s. What you think would have happened to them? Hmm? Now, that, that remains to be a question. Would SGA here be treated the same way that Josh should be treated? Because I feel that the coach and the GM are trying to protect Josh. To them, Josh is like their great white hope. He's the Luka Doncic of the team. And I understand that since these two have been paired up, that the Thunder have the, one of the most competitive backcourts in the Western Cup, especially now since they're in second place. They're in a good position right now, as far as especially the tournament. I think them and Minnesota are the one and two seed. So they're doing great. The Thunder is one of the most exciting teams currently. And I'll, I'll give them that credit. They play way better than my Clippers. They had a far uh, season than my struggling Clipper team. But even then, man, James Harden. Y'all saw how that announcer was talking from Dallas Mavericks talking down on him. Everybody been talking down on James Harden like he's just a low-down teammate, right? But let him be involved with a minor in a club. Russell Westbrook, come on now, man. Let's just keep it real. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jimmy Butler. Come on now. What you think they'll do to Jimmy Butler? Come on now. What you think they're going to do to Jimmy Butler if they find out he was fooling around with an underage girl all this time? Sneaking an underage girl to his hotel room. Fooling around with 15, 14-year-olds. Man, what you think they're going to do to Jimmy? I'm sorry, I hate to have to tell you this, but white privilege ain't going nowhere. Because I don't see Malika Andrews trying to go on Josh Giddy's pass at all. And just to make things even worse, there's an Australian cereal company that's basically um, backing away from Josh Giddy. With this investigation, they uh, they took Josh Giddy off their social media. They, they Josh Giddy might lose his endorsements. That's up to $40 million. Chet Holmgren, his other, uh, one of his current teammates, has uh took this man off his social media account. He don't even follow uh Josh Giddy on Twitter or Instagram anymore. No he took him off his social media account. So that goes to show you there's certain players on his team that's feeling some type of way about Josh. Now Josh, of course, say he's going he's he has no comment for it, because the Lord told him to do it. But the media is protecting him. Because Malika Andrews did not have the same injury for Josh Giddy like she did Eman Udoka. Right? Like she did uh, the, the young man from the uh, Charlotte Hornets on draft night, right? Him. The young man uh, that, uh, what's, the, what's that rookie from the Hornets? Hold on, me on. I'm drawing a break. Me, me or something else, man. She ain't right. There was a young man that got drafted, Brandon Miller. When Brandon Miller got drafted, she brought this man's um past, some stuff he got in trouble, he went to court with that he wasn't even um uh, that he was found not guilty for. Over murdering some woman that he like he wasn't even responsible for. She brought that up. I talked to me, matter of fact, hey, I talked about this on my um uh, on my YouTube uh in the summertime when I was um uh, when I was on vacation, I talked about it. The video was up. She talked about him, Brandon Miller. Again, that woman, that woman got something negative to say about black men. When it comes to Caucasian men like this man here, who's international, she got nothing negative to say about him at all. So I want everybody to just note right now that Josh is not facing the same punishment that he's up that somebody like SGA right here will receive. Cause if SGA, I could guarantee, I guarantee the house. I bet any type of money. If SGA here would have got caught with an underage girl doing the same thing he's doing, okay, this man would not be. In the OKC Thunder uniform at all. Matter of fact, 2K would take the man off the game. He wouldn't be, even be on my team. If it was SGA. He'll lose everything. Endorsements, everything. They'll immediately replace SGA with another point guard. He'd be at home right now suspended. 
Adam Silver would have already made a statement. Matter of fact, I don't see Woj making a statement either. I don't see Woj. I don't see Brian Windhorst. None of them are making statements. Callan Carhart, right? Come on, where's Nick Wright on this issue? Nick Wright didn't even say nothing either. And this happened during Thanksgiving weekend to make matters worse, y'all. Okay? If you Adam Silver, you got to do the right thing, man. Josh Giddy needs to face some type of punishment. I feel. Now, these are, these are allegations. So we don't know if he's exactly innocent or guilty. That re That's going to be uh, remain to be seen. That's going to be revealed. But to me, man, there's no excuses. And for the young men that's watching this video, I need to let me make something clear because I'm also, I got a daughter that's 15. That's the same age the girl that he's, he's gotten caught with. All right? Lord knows, I don't want to see no man his age date my 15-year-old. I have a problem with it because, for one, you're a grown man. You're fully grown. My daughter is a minor. She's still going through high school. She's in grade school. I'm sorry, man, but that's sick. If you're a grown man, you can't get somebody your own age, you got a problem. Because when I don't get two, man, while we on the subject, you Josh Giddy, right? You a superstar shooting guard. You on, you on every billboard in Oklahoma. Your team practices in Oklahoma Sooner facility. All these college freshmen that's 18 and 19 years old. You can't get with somebody your own age. All these 22, 23, 24, 25 year old women. You got women that's around my age that's in their 30s that will go with um, Josh Giddy if they had the chance. You got Cougars that are 40 and 50 and up that will go with Josh Giddy. He an international man with accent. Come on now, man. All these blondes and brunettes and redheads that are in their 20s that's freaky. They are in these clubs just waiting for you to approach them. Come on, man. There's no, this, this no excuse. You know, this, and there's pictures with him and his girl, man. Like, you can't escape this at all. They got evidence on you. I don't understand it. Unless, again, this is something he desires. That means Josh Giddy may have a, a preference for young women. I already told my, um, I already told my 15-year-old, and I love her dearly, despite how rebellious she is to me and her family, and she don't want to do right. I told my 15-year-old Kayla that if I ever catch up with a grown man like Josh Giddy here, that's Josh Giddy's age, right, or somebody like R. Kelly, me and that person get down. I'm whipping his ass. I don't give a damn. I don't care, man. I'll pull a bullet. I, I, I'm not going to play around. I'm not. I don't play around with that type of stuff. We got to watch our children around these pedophile men. And y'all going to see, man, the devil is real. The devil will use anybody. He don't discriminate. I'm sorry, man. You just get it. You got to be responsible. Because in every sport, from Major League Baseball to National Basketball Association to the NFL, right, every sport, these young players take classes. They go to seminars. Before they start any training camp, before you start any activity with your team, and you meet the coach of the organization, you got to take a class where the the, the, uh, the the sports commissioner, the president, and the vice president, right, they'll come and they, uh, they'll they address all the rookies in one place. All rookies got to take a class before they even start. And you'll get a, often you'll get a Hall of Famer or an older veteran that will come in and speak to these players. And they tell them what they can and what they can't do. And I'm pretty sure that Presty and the uh, coaches already told them already before the season started. What you can and what you can't do, man. Like, where is his, where is Josh Giddy's advisor? Where is your friends? Unless this man wanted to go with this girl, he had a he had a preference for it. He got a taste for young girls. But my thing is, man, it's too many women your own age that you could be with. Why well, would be with somebody that's still in high school? When I was his age, I wasn't trying to think about going with nobody. I didn't have no relationship with nobody in high school. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about going with nobody in high school. My mom was on somebody that was older than me. My mom was going with somebody that was 26, 27. I was trying to go with the girls. and I was trying to focus on the girls that I was going to college with. Right? That's who I was focused with on. I wasn't trying to go with nobody that's in high school. I wasn't thinking about nobody in high school. It's nasty, man. And there's a sickness there, too. Something's wrong with this man. That tells me Josh Giddy might have a problem with women. He need to go seek a therapist, a counselor. Because this don't make no sense to even be in this position right now. It's ridiculous. But the fact that the head coach still got this man playing is something not right about that. It's something funny about that. That they going out their way to protect the image of Josh Giddy 
But yet, what about SGA here? You know, again, man, that just makes me wonder. Would Shy be treated with the same respect as they they treat um Josh? Beamish, y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm not gonna go too more far ahead with this, but it, it's it's not looking good for Josh, in my opinion. It, this this is sickening, man. It really is. Because Major League Baseball let you know that hey, we ain't playing that. And see, Josh got to realize there are executives, there are presidents and vice presidents, there are owners of these basketball teams who got children that are this young girl's age that he been seeing. Nieces. They got nieces and granddaughters that are 14, 15 years old. And they would not want their loved ones dealing with a grown man, uh, dating a grown man. Again, it, it, it's, it's nasty. It's pedophilia. That means Josh here might be a pervert. And I said might. I'm not calling him that. I said might. Because my thing is, again, you have to be known. There's no excuses for that. You have to be known some kind of way. Right? That's why there's Instagram. And so you can tell a lot about a person through their social media. Fellas, if you're watching this video, you young men, right? That's around his age. Or 18 years older, or a little older, that also play at college sports, and you're on your way, you you try to go to the pros, or in high school, you got to be known to this. Watch who you're dealing with. Watch these girls you you talking to. Always look at her social media. Ask her questions like, what school does she go to? If she doesn't go to school, does she have a job? Ask her what she do, does for a living, man. That's what you got to do. You got to ask these questions. I believe Josh knew about it. But he thought because of his, because he's he's an Australian, right? He got all this money. He think he can make it go away. Cause see, what happens was when girls like this gets pissed off, they go use the media to their advantage. And it's obvious he got into a fight with that girl, right? He got into a fight with her. She got mad and she pissed off. Now she's finna expose him. And I'm on record saying that I, I believe Wanda Franco tried to get it started. Wanda Franco didn't want to move that 14 year old to the states into a new home, into a house. She wanted to live with Ronda, and he didn't want it, and then he got exposed. So you got to be careful, man, because now he got caught up. Don't be like Josh Giddy. Use this, use this as an example, because, again, man, it's just bad. But, again, man, I, I'm, I'm looking at this. The Thunder organization is trying to protect Josh. And I, I, I get it, man. The team is doing good. They got a chance to, to make the playoffs and win a championship because they, they look like they have that type of team. But let's be honest, man. Wrong is wrong. I'm sorry, man. That girl broke the law, and he just as bad because he took her home with him. That means Josh has sex with a minor. And you 21. Like, come on, man. Like, what's the thought process of even doing that? that, that there's no way around that. 21-year-old man, grown, fully grown, with a girl that's not even old enough to go into a porno, to a porno shop. That girl's not even old enough to go into inside of a video store and rent a porno. She's not even old enough yet. That's how sick and nasty this is. And I'm not condoning none of this. I'm not advising nobody to go look at no porno. It's not what I'm doing, but I'm just saying, man. It's sickening. The girl's not even old enough to drink. She's not even old enough to smoke yet. I think to even smoke tobacco or cigarettes, you got to be 18. Like, it's like, why? Come on, man. Where's your maturity level? Just tell me Josh don't know how to talk to women. This man has a is something wrong with that. Yeah, even if she lied, right? Again, you gotta protect yourself. There's a word my job like to go to, like to uh, go by. There's a saying we go by at my job. That's C O Y A. Cover your own ass. Okay, he should have covered his behind with that. If I was Josh, I would have paid that girl off just to keep quiet and do something, man. Cause I'm like, come on, man. But this is his own fault. It's his fault at the end of the day. Again, I don't want to hear that she lied. Right? No, don't, don't put this all on her. He's halfway responsible for this. He let himself be video be uh get a picture by this girl. He let himself he took a picture with this girl. That's how stupid he is. He let him see he let himself get uh, get a photographer, get a photo with this girl. He let himself be uh be photographer. He, he let this girl take a picture of him and, and her together. Like, come on, man. Like, you got to be smarter than that. I'm sorry, man. You got to be smarter. Let, this is a life lesson learned. But I feel that shit, there needs to be some type of punishment. He need to be fined at least something. Right? But that's it, y'all, man. 
that that's all I got on this situation. I report more of it as the, the um the, the um the months go by 